Hi there, I'm Paige Finkelman, and I'm here with Lou Tucker. He's the CTO and VP of Cloud Computing at Cisco. Lou just wrapped up his keynote here at Cloud Connect, and I just grabbed him for a couple minutes. And Lou, if it's okay with you, I just want to ask you for sure. a few questions. Great. So your talk was on putting your own data center in the cloud. Right. And one of the things you mentioned in your talk is that within this world of many clouds, you foresee in the future there being clouds oriented around different verticals. Yep. So my question, it's actually two questions. When do you think this is going to happen and which verticals do you think will be the, the first to go in that direction? Yeah, I, I actually think that it is evolving in that direction, primarily around the fact that different vertical industries have different regulatory requirements. Mm -hmm. uh, we are very much uh, anticipating seeing a very common cloud computing model, but many of the operational aspects get to be different different if you have, there are a lot of regulations around protecting customer information mm -hmm. in the healthcare world, patient records and things like that. Uh, government clouds have different operational requirements in terms of who can staff the actual operations behind these things. Uh, financial services, banks would very much like to be able to go to service providers and have financial services based clouds to, to be able to host financial services and they're fine with sharing the multi-tenant environment with other banks but they really feel less comfortable sharing it with just an arbitrary small startup or whatever, which they don't really have any relationship with. Sure. So I think we're going to start to see the evolution of that. We're already seeing today, I think, an evolution. Uh, even Amazon is providing sort of a government cloud. Mm -hmm. And that is specifically designed to be able to meet the regulatory requirements that, that government agencies have. Mm -hmm. One of the other things you mentioned was this, this sort of holy trinity of compute storage and networking. You know, why do you think that that approach is, is necessary sure. for well, cloud providers? In, in fact, when you design applications, real scalable applications, distributed applications, the, the topology of the application becomes important. And you end up sort of drawing diagrams that have, that have networks. You might have a back-end network for your database as opposed to the front-end internet-facing network for your web servers. And so we think it's important to try to capture that. Now, what we want to avoid is bringing the entire complexity of a data center mm -hmm. up into this virtualized space. So that's why what we're really looking at now, what are those right abstractions? What is the minimum set of things that actually would allow application developers to create virtual networks? And that these are isolated and private networks. That way, for example, they are able to do things such as bring their own IP addresses. Uh, we would like, you know, actually that not to be hard-coded in applications, but in many ways, they actually are. And so we'd like to be able to have a business A have the same IP addresses being used in their virtual cloud as business B, mm -hmm. and not have them overlap, right. not have them actually conflict with each other. And my, my final question for you, Lou, is, is, is one about Cisco itself. You know, how does cloud change Cisco's go-to-market strategy or, or their sort of business model? Sure, well I think the most significant change has already happened at Cisco in terms of most people know Cisco as a provider of networking infrastructure. Right. Well, we've also now moved into computing, in fact, the number two in the world, in the US in terms of blade servers. Uh, but our approach there has also been to sort of use the networking and, com and computing together to create a unified system. So that way, people can start to buy, essentially, pools of resources that are, that are highly connected and then managed by an API. Mm -hmm. These systems are the systems that we expect to see moving forward for helping people build their own clouds or service providers rapidly deploy their clouds. Mm -hmm. So it, it's changed the Cisco business in a sort of a fundamental way as we're essentially moving up the stack in terms of now providing more complete systems. Mm -hmm. We're becoming truly a systems company. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we, we're seeing a lot of success in using collaboration as, as cloud services. Right. So what we're doing in WebEx and Quad and, and hosted collaboration services, those are becoming an important part of Cisco's business as well. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, Lou. Very good. Appreciate thank you, Paige. It. Thank you.